Hi everyone, welcome to Thai Fly Designs. Today we are here to celebrate Mother's Day with four of four other very crafty, talented ladies. And this is our Mother's Day crafty YouTube collab. Us five got together to create some Mother's Day projects. So we hope you guys enjoy. And I'm leaving the links to all the crafty ladies in the collab. I have their Instagram and their YouTube channel and also the videos that they created for this Mother's Day Crafty collab. So I hope you guys enjoy all the videos and don't forget, visit all of them. And if you're not subscribed, you can do so because they're very talented and we want to share our talent with everyone. So without further ado, here it goes. So this video is to salute all the crafty moms out there for Mother's Day. Hope you guys have a wonderful one. For my first card, I'm using this Make-A-Wish stamp set from Clearly Besotted. And I'm going to stamp this beautiful flower onto a piece of white cardstock. And at the beginning, I did not um, mention the names of the ladies that I'm collabing with, um, I hope I'm saying the first name correctly, Ardith, Ray, Shanta, and Veronica. And then, of course, me, Skeeter. So I'm going to get my Misty. I just want to ensure my image is stamped properly. So many magnets on one Misty. So we're going to add our paper, make sure it's down. I want to have enough space so I can cut out the area where my image is. And since I'm going to be using um, markers, I'm going to use my Momento Tuxedo Black Ink. I think this is actually my favorite when it comes to Copic coloring. So we're going to just stamp our image. And I don't really want it to be that dark, but there's some parts that's a little light, so I'm just going to stamp it just a little more. And just the middle right here. So that's good, I think. And we're going to do some coloring. And while I'm coloring, we're just going to play some music so you guys can just watch the coloring process. I'm just going to bring my camera just a little closer.
for my next coloring, I have this stamp set from Simon's Stamp, and it's called Beautiful Flowers. It's actually for was from one of their kits a couple years ago, and I'm stamping this huge flower on a piece of watercolor paper, and we're gonna color that up with our watercolor. So for this one, I'm going to emboss my image. Um, let's see what color of embossing powder I will use. Let's do some time it says silver. our powder tool to get our surface whoop magnets just dust some of that off and we need our embossing ink This is watercolor paper. Sometimes you don't get a really good image, so we're just gonna see if we're good. Trial and error. Since I have this piece of scrap paper, let's use this. I'm gonna see if our image was stamped properly. As soon as we add our embossing powder, we'll see if we got a good image. And this embossing powder I'm using is the Simon Says Ultra Fine Silver. We have some areas there that's not very good, but we're going to have to work that out. We need our heat. Heat gun. Make sure it's really hot before you go to your paper. And just melt your embossing powder. So now we're gonna let that cool a little and then we'll do some water coloring. And I'm gonna let you guys watch as I color and while I play some music.
this next stamp is going to be also from Clearly Besotted. This is from All of Us. And I love this set of images. So we're gonna use that next for our card, next card. And we're trying the copper embossing powder from, also from Simon Says. No, this one is actually he writes. I love Papa and Bottom Power, it is so pretty. And this is also watercolor paper, and we're going to color it also.
for the first card, I cut my image down. So we're making a mini slim line. And a fussy cut around the bottom of the image. And I'm going to adhere to the card this way. Okay, let's see. I want my sentiment to go right above my other frame. Right above here. And my card. And I just, this is a sentiment die from. From Lawn Fawn, and it says Happy Mother's Day. Have a go. And I cut it in some silver cardstock because we use silver embossing powder around our image. So my Happy Mother's Day is going to be at the top, and I'm going to adhere my image like so. I'm going to use some Tombow liquid glue. And since this is um watercolor cardstock, I'm going to be generous, generous with the glue. I was going to add a foam adhesive, but because the image is fussy cut and up was cut fussy cut from the top, I didn't want all the adhesive to show. So that's card number one. For the next card, I continue with the slim line shape. And I also cut the same die that says Happy Mother's Day in like some copper cardstock this time since we embossed with copper. And we're gonna put that to the top of our card. Let's adhere our card front first. And I didn't mention the bottom part of the card. I just used my watercolor brush and just did some strokes going up. So it looks like grass in the back of our flowers. I think that's why I said to be generous with the with the glue because it depends on how heavy your cardstock is and we're gonna adhere our sentiment like so I 
I should have cut my sentiment with some double adhesive paper, whatever you call that. <laughs> but I wasn't thinking. Because I'm actually up <laughs> 4 o'clock in the morning trying to finish my cards. So now we have Happy Mother's Day and everything looks okay. So that's card number two. And for final card, what's this? I cut down my image and I have a piece of pink cardstock. This is going to be an A2 size card. And we have another piece of pink. I think I'm going to cut down pink just a little more. So it's going to be glued like so. Then I stamped this Happy Mother's Day from um, a Lawn Fawn stamp set. I'm trying to see. This one is called oh, Mom and Me. I think that's what it says. mommy <laughs> so I cut I stamp this on a piece of pink cardstock and we're gonna adhere it to the top like so And then we're going to head into our card base. Again, we want to salute all the crafty moms out there. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day. So that's it for my cards today for, for Mother's Day. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching the video. And hopefully joining our collab and hitting the next person on the list. The links, All the links are in the description box. And I hope you guys will visit. Stay for a while and subscribe to these lovely crafters and join their family and join my family if you are new to my channel. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by again and see you soon.